Settlers escalate their attacks on Palestinians in the West Bank. International testimonies call on the world to save a strip that's without food, water or heating. And a disease has actually begun to spread among the people of Gaza. Setting up mobile homes and joining the aggression in their own way. This is the case of a number of settlers who stormed the house of an elderly Palestinian woman in the village of Maghair Labid, south of Al Khalil in the West Bank. Like wolves stealing sheep, not only did the settlers severely beat the elderly woman, who was 75 years old, but they also stole sheep and detained her two sons inside the house. During the continuation of the escalation of settler attacks, the Office of the Wall and Settlement Resistant Commission in Bayt Lahm confirmed that the settlers escalated their attacks in the eastern Bedouin areas by seizing caves, setting up mobile homes, forcing landowners to leave their lands, and preventing them from reaching their homes. A strip without food, water, or heating. This is how the international press described Gaza Strip after quoting the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs that the occupation authorities had increased restrictions on humanitarian missions to reach the Strip since the beginning of the new year. Only seven batches of food, water, and medicine arrived in northern Gaza out of 29 batches that were initially planned for since the beginning of 2024. The United Nations office confirms that these restrictions do not only prevent aid from reaching the northern Gaza Strip, but they also prevent it to reach other areas in the center and south. The warnings have come to an end and the disaster has already begun. The Palestinian Ministry of Health confirmed the spread of hepatitis as a result of overcrowding in displacement sites in Gaza Strip with the continuation of the Israeli aggression, the scarcity of medical materials and the cessation of blood testing. $15 billion is the number announced by the Palestine Investment Fund, which represents the value of rebuilding housing units only in Gaza Strip, stressing on the fact that this number is approximate and the Strip may need more than that.